continental crust is the layer of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks that forms the continents and the areas of shallow seabed close to their shores, known as continental shelves. This layer is sometimes called sial because its bulk composition is more felsic, or granitic, in contrast to the oceanic crust, called cyma, whose bulk composition is more mafic or basaltic rock. Consisting mostly of granitic rock, continental crust has a density of about 2.7 grams per centimeter 3 and is less dense than the material of Earth's mantle, which consists of ultramafic rock and whose density is about 3.3 grams per centimeter 3. Continental crust is also less dense than oceanic crust, whose density is about 2.9 grams per centimeter 3. Continental crust is considerably thicker than oceanic crust, mostly 25 to 70 kilometers versus the average thickness of the oceanic crust of around 7 euro 10 kilometers. About 40% of Earth's surface is now overlaid by continental crust. Continental crust makes up about 70% of the volume of Earth's crust. Importance, because the surface of continental crust mainly lies above sea level, its existence allowed land life to evolve from marine life. Its existence also provides broad expanses of shallow water known as apuric seas and continental shelves where complex metazoan life could become established during early Paleozoic time, in what is now called the Cambrian Explosion. Origin there is little evidence of continental crust prior to 3.5 Ga, and there was relatively rapid development on shield areas consisting of continental crust between 3.0 and 2.5 Ga. All continental crust ultimately derives from the fractional differentiation of oceanic crust over many eons. This process has been and continues today primarily as a result of the volcanism associated with subduction. Forces at work in contrast to the persistence of continental crust, the size, shape, and number of continents are constantly changing through geologic time. Different tracts rift apart, collide and recoalesce as part of a grand supercontinent cycle. There are currently about 7 billion cubic kilometers of continental crust, but this quantity varies because of the nature of the forces involved. The relative permanence of continental crust contrasts with the short life of oceanic crust. Because continental crust is less dense than oceanic crust, when active margins of the two meet in subduction zones, the oceanic crust is typically subducted back into the mantle. Continental crust is rarely subducted. For this reason the oldest rocks on Earth are within the cratons or cores of the continents, rather than in repeatedly recycled oceanic crust. The oldest intact crustal fragment is the Acastanice at 4.01 Ga while the oldest oceanic crust is from the Jurassic. Continental crust and the rock layers that lie on and within it are thus the best archive of Earth's history. The height of mountain ranges is usually related to the thickness of crust. This results from the isostasy associated with orogeny. The crust is thickened by the compressive forces related to subduction or continental collision. The buoyancy of the crust forces it upwards. The forces of the collisional stress balanced by gravity and erosion. This forms a keel or mountain root beneath the mountain range, which is where the thickest crust is found. The thinnest continental crust is found in rift zones, where the crust is thinned by detachment faulting and eventually severed, replaced by oceanic crust. The edges of continental fragments formed this way are termed passive margins. The high temperatures and pressures of depth, often combined with a long history of complex distortion, cause much of the lower continental crust to be metamorphic, the main exception to this being recent igneous intrusions. Igneous rock may also be underplated to the underside of the crust, that is adding to the crust by forming a layer immediately beneath it. Continental crust is produced and destroyed mostly by plate tectonic processes, especially at convergent plate boundaries. Additionally, Continental crustal material is transferred to oceanic crust by sedimentation. New material can be added to the continents by the partial melting of oceanic crust at subduction zones, causing the lighter material to rise as magma, forming volcanoes. Also, material can be accreted horizontally when volcanic island arcs, say amounts or similar structures collide with the side of the continent as a result of plate tectonic movements. Continental crust is also lost through erosion and sediment subduction, 
tectonic erosion of forax, delamination, and deep subduction of continental crust in collision zones. Many theories of crustal growth are controversial, including rates of crustal growth and recycling, whether the lower crust is recycled differently from the upper crust, and over how much of Earth history plate tectonics has operated and so could be the dominant mode of continental crust formation and destruction. It is a matter of debate whether the amount of continental crust has been increasing, decreasing, or remaining constant over geological time. One model indicates that at prior to 3.7 Ga ago continental crust constituted less than 10% of the present amount. By 3.0 Ga ago the amount was about 25%, and following a period of rapid crustal evolution it was about 60% of the current amount by 2.6 Ga ago. The growth of continental crust appears to have occurred in spurts of increased activity corresponding to five episodes of increased production through geologic time. See also, Terrain, Geologic Province, Lithosphere. References Bibliography, Armstrong, R.L. The Persistent Myth of Crustal Growth. Australian Journal of Earth Sciences 38, 613 a Euro 630. Bibcode, 1991 AUGES 3861938 DOI 10.1080/0812009910872799.5. Bowering, S. A. Williams, I. S. Prisca Northernese is from Northwestern Canada. Contributions to Mineralogy and Petrology, 3 a Euro 16. Bibcode, 1999 Comp 134, 3B DOI, 10.1007 per second 0041000050465. Butler, Rob. Making New Continents. Retrieved January 29, 2006. Cogley, J. Graham. Continental Margins and the Extent and Number of Continents. Reviews of Geophysics 22, 101 a Euro 122. Bibcode, 1984 RVGSP 22101 C DOI. 101029 slash RGO 22 I 2 P 1 Condi. Kent C. The Supercontinent Cycle, Are There Two Patterns of Cyclicity? Journal of African Earth Sciences 35, 179 Euro 183. Bibcode, 2002 JAF ES 35179 C DOI, 10.1016 per second 0899 02, 0005-2. Clift, P. Banucci, P. Controls on tectonic accretion versus erosion in subduction zones, implications for the origin and recycling of the continental crust. Reviews of Geophysics 42. Bibcode, 2004RVGO 42.2001 CDOI, 10.1029 slash 2003RGO 0127. Hawkesworth, C.J. Duheim, B. Pietranic, A.B. Kawood. P.A. Kemp, A.I.S. Story, C.D. The Generation and Evolution of the Continental Crust. Journal of the Geological Society 167, 229 Euro 248 doi, 10.1144 0016 76 million 072. Zal, A.L. Rudnick, R.L. Provisor, G.E. Hart, SRE Euro's isotope evidence for the composition, formation and age of the lower continental crust. Nature 393, 58 to Euro 61. Bibcode, 1998 Nature 393. 58 S DOI, 10.1038 slash 29966. Walther, John Victor. Essentials of Geochemistry. Jones and Bartlett. Pages 35. ISBN 0 7637 2642 7. The Geochemical Evolution of the Continental Crust. Reverend Geophys 33, 241 Euro 265. Bibcode 1995 RVGO 33241 T DOI 10.1029 95 RGO 0262. Von Hain, Roland. Skull, 
David W. observations at convergent margins concerning sediment subduction, subduction erosion, and the growth of continental crust. Reviews of Geophysics 29, 279 Euro 316. Bibcode, 1991 RVGO 29279 VDOI, 10.1029-91 RGO0969. External links, Average Composition of Continental Crust, Crust 5.1, Evolution of the Continental Crust.